Hey guys, thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy, with me, Miss Beng. Hope you guys are doing incredibly well. Unfortunately, we are almost coming to the end of season one of this beautiful program. I want to thank you people so very much for all the love, for all the support. And I hope you had a smooth week. If you're here because you want to find out all the hottest things which happened in the entertainment industry this week, allow me to welcome you. This is the right platform. So take the best position and let's get it popping with the first segment of this program. Go nowhere, guys. I'll be right back. More on Biggie update, guys. Season 2 of this reality show is almost coming to an end. And out of the 25 contestants who kicked off, we are just left with few more flatmates to run the 15 million from race. We have your favorites in the house. We still have Fish, we have Patience, we have Clement, Noni White, Queen Mother, and others. The temperature keeps rising in the house as Fish remains the main competition to other flatmates. Because of its popularity, Fish is being seen as a threat by some flatmates in the house who doubt their possibility of winning this season with someone like Fish on their way. Remember, four flatmates have openly shown their hatred towards Fish to the extent of holding meetings to strategize on how to overthrow him. Guys, Fish is up for possible eviction this week. What are the chances for him not to be evicted? Let's keep watching. Joby calls his fellow colleague rapper Balsero M. Bootman. After he mentioned him in one of his critic videos, Joby severely warned Balsero never to mention his name again in his propaganda and this led to a serious clash between both rappers. In the third video, Balsero openly insulted his fellow colleagues' artists, calling them miserable, wretched artists. He mentioned Ming, Stanley Eno, Joby, and all Bikusi artists. Guys, you need to watch this. Taguez-moi tous les crevards d'artistes qu'on a au Cameroun, là. Abbe Mingso, Abbe Stanley, tous ces petits misérables minables, là. Abbe Mingso, Abbe Stanley, no, Abbe Kiki, Kaosi, tous ces crevures, là. Taguez-moi tous les artistes camerounais que vous connaissez. Et les, ces crevards de chanteuses de Bikutsi, les conneries pareilles, les macossistes et tout. Taguez-moi tous ces misérables, là. Parce que c'est ce que vous êtes. Joby did not find this funny at all and immediately reacted. According to Mboko God, Balsero is part of the political problem he has been trying for long to fight in Cameroon and is as much a hypocrite. And in reaction to this, Balsero said this. Si j'étais à Yaoundé, je t'aurais coincé dans un coin, je t'aurais montré ce qu'on appelle un bangando. Tu vois, je t'aurais arraché tes dents là, one by one. But so later said if he was in Yawunde, he will remove Jovi's teeth like this one by one. Now, guys, imagine Valsero and Jovi in a fight. Now we'll go move with it. Was Valsero right in what he said? And was Jovi right in calling Valsero a bootman? Guys, let me know in the comment section. The biggest burst on the internet lately, guys, is Gael and Ganamoid sex tip scandal, confirming her as a full lesbian. The videos are shocking. <laughs> Two hours after announcing her resignation from her current position as team manager of the Cameroon Women's National Team, the former Cameroon Women's National Team striker Gael and Ganamoid saw her notes being leaked on the internet where she is seen having some moment of intimacy with a woman like her. Jesus Christ. Guys, watch this. What? What? <laughs> you know. Uh... <laughs> This took many of Gaia's fans by surprise as they could not believe that their role model was actually a lesbian. And aside her note, we had videos of her former lesbian girlfriend practicing some uncatholic things in Gaia's presence. The shocking part from these videos is that Gaia feels so comfortable in her sexual orientation. Watch this, guys.
Immediately after the scandal, Gaye sued her friend Nomo Brenda Charlie for allegedly leaking the videos. She said she has been friends with Brenda for some time now, for a good number of years, and that during one of her brief stay at her apartment, she forgot some of her valuable stuff there. We had jewelry, dresses, and her tablet, which contained a lot of her personal information and documents. I guess that's from where the sex tape was leaked. So she's pleading with the authorities to apprehend the said Brenda for questioning. Guys, seriously? Which authorities is she talking about? The same authorities refusing homosexuality in Cameroon? Remember Article 347 of the Cameroon Penal Code says anyone caught having sex with someone of the same sex is supposed to be punished with a 6 months to 5 years imprisonment with a fine of 20,000 francs to 200,000 francs. I think this is closely what happened to the popular cross-dresser Shakiro. Now, since it is Gael and Ghana Moet, do you think the law will prevail? Report says Gael has flown out of the country. For reasons only God knows. I heard her mother collapse after hearing that her daughter is a lesbian. She never knew Gael was a lesbian. Anyways, guys, what's your take on this? Let me know in the comment section. Brenda Bia disowns her parents as she claims they are treating her like they are treating the Anglophone people in Cameroon. What the Anglophone man not going to see for this country? Looks like Brenda Bia has been going through a lot lately and has been seeing a lot of alarming things. Recently, she openly told the world that she has no parents, no siblings, and a whole lot of things. This is what she said, guys. I ain't got parents. From the go, they've been absent, never raised, never gave me love like an actual child. And everything is fine as long as you in their power grabs. All they care about is their image. If you can't treat me like you treat any ordinary Cameroonian and Anglophone people, I don't care. No amount of money, nothing will ever buy me. You all can forget me. I ain't want to bend to your rules. In one of her recent Snapchat videos, she disowned her parents for forcing her in doing things she does not actually want to do. Watch this guy. Oui, mais monsieur, je suis majeur et j'ai des droits. C'est pas parce que mon père est le président que j'ai plus de droits. They're saying that I have to go to a hospital. But even if I don't want to go to a hospital against my will, they're budging into my room, forcing me to go to a hospital. I asked to sign a discharge. They won't let me discharge me. Y'all are going to see the, the, the cops here. Y'all gonna see me in some cuckoo net. I don't care. Allons-y, allons-y. Vas-y, on part. Guys, why do everybody seem to be so less concerned about Brenda Bia's issues? Should what she says be considered? Or is she saying things out of emotions? Let me know in the comment section. Welcome on our international showbiz scene, guys. Eight people died with more than 300 wounded during Travis Scott concert in Houston. Travis Scott and Drake were having a cool concert at the Astro World Festival when eight people died during it with more than 300 people wounded. And reports say this is not the first time such is happening during Travis Scott's concert. Fans say his concerts are always violent and less secured. The artist is being reproached by many fans and critics for moving on with the show 40 minutes after the incident occurred. Watch this. What went wrong? Well, shortly after Travis took the stage, around 9.15, the crowd surged, pushing people into the barricades. Let's go! Travis Scott has been apprehended by the police for further investigation and has promised to take full charge of the victim's funerals and a therapy session for all surviving victims. And my question to you guys, who should be blamed for such an incident? The artists, the fans, or the organizers? Let me know. That's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much, guys, for still watching. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs. Thus, we're going away, guys. I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, opening our playlist this episode is this beautiful brand new release titled Maya Maya from D2M. Watch and enjoy. Popular by the ninth position is Take Me Back from Lil Humble. 
comes up at the 8th position with this brand new release titled Vanessa. <laughs> Motobanga comes up at the 7th position with For You. Motobanga! Rap Mem the Beat. Popping up at the 6th position is Dem from Kamini. I don't suffer for this life, mon frère, I swear them no no Anyhow you see me today, don't judge, I swear you know. Last last from Tizi Panchak occupies the fifth position last, 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 last. I don't look like what I've been through Then they look me the envy When some nice boy no trap self Papa God I must confess Popping up at the fourth position is Montu from Oken featuring suspect 9-5 Aujourd'hui c'est mon jour Je t'ai t'attendu au bout de ces jours-ci Quand je t'ai pauvre personne Steve B with this brand new release titled Abigail pops up at the third position Abigail no tinga me, no can no tinga me for yeah No tinga me for yeah No tinga me Occupying our second position is Shabasiko from Rhythms Cause I've been a commando for your love Topping our playlist this episode, guys, is the smashing brand new banger from self proclaimed serial hit maker Kosi, and it is titled La Gale. Watch and enjoy. Give me the mic, yo. La Gale. Okay guys, unfortunately this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show Hot and Juicy. And like I said at the introduction of this show, we are drawing close to the end of season 1 of this Kamehs number 1 entertainment program Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Ben. I want to thank people so very much for all the support. Keep supporting, make sure you share every episode, spread the news all around, let people know that there's a show like this. I want to thank you people so very much. But before we close season one, I still have a lot of beautiful things for you. And I'll be right back next week with so much more, guys. And for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, please stick to us. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on Twitter. It's 237 Showbiz and very much active on our website. So make sure you are part of us on our Telegram channel. It's 237 Showbiz. That's where we post all explicit content and things we don't take on Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter. I'll be right back next week with so much more guys. Don't have to wait with you. Okay, let's go. Hey guys. Hey guys, what?